Okay, so we're starting on the connective tissues now. We're going to go through the three loose connective tissues first. And remember, if a tissue is a loose connective tissue, it's uh, loose because it doesn't have uh, a high density of fibers. Now, looking at this tissue, you may say, well, I see a lot of fibers here, Dr. P. And that's true, you do see a lot of fibers, but you also see a lot of empty space and you can see some cells in here. And it's really the empty space that is the issue here. When you have empty space, it can't be a dense connective tissue. You just don't have enough fibers for it to get that designation. Now, um, the big, thick, pink fibers that you see in here are collagen fibers. And collagen fibers are one of three types of fibers that are found in the extracellular matrix. And the collagen fibers are what give a connective tissue its strength. The purple fibers that you see that are much thinner and in some cases uh, irregularly shaped are the elastic fibers. And elastic fibers do just what they sound like they do. They're stretchy. So they're, a better word for that would be resilient. And that means that they can stretch when they are pulled, but they return to their original shape and size after the stretching force has been removed, okay? can see that the fibers are pretty much randomly distributed in there. There doesn't seem to be any order to how they're uh, placed in the tissue. You can also see some nuclei and those, uh, some of those will be nuclei of fibroblasts, which are the connective tissue cells that maintain the uh, matrix. And remember the cells are the only living portion of the connective tissue. The remainder of the tissue is made up of extracellular matrix, and that extracellular matrix is broken down into the fibers, which you can see here, and the ground substance, which was the material that was filling the spaces uh, between the cells and the fibers in the specimen. Okay, so the hallmarks for a real or connective tissue are the obvious collagen and elastic fibers in this random orientation and organization with uh, small numbers of nuclei representing cells scattered around in the tissue. So again, this is a realer connective tissue.